guys. So today we will be installing the uh, Bronco hood decal up here on the uh, cowl. Um, so this is uh, going to be linked down in the description below for where you can purchase this from our sticker store. But uh, we've got it pretty much uh, dialed in um, for you guys. So we are going to uh, do the install on this. Um, now this is going to be a little different than some of the stickers we've done on the windshield. This is going to be a wet install. Um, so we will be uh, spraying the area with uh, a Dawn dish soap and water solution. And then we're also going to spray the back of the, uh, the decal where the sticky side of the vinyl is. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, get the sticker peeled off the, the backing here. And then we're going to lay it uh, face down. Um, just below where we're going to put it and then we'll get this all uh, lubricated up and uh, Then we will put the decal on and use our squeegee to get it all uh, nice and smooth. So let's get to it All right, so I'm just going to peel this Sticker off so this won't have any transfer tape on this one It will just be the vinyl on its own Okay, so we've got that all uh, removed. So I'm gonna just start spraying the area with our, this is an old glass cleaner um, bottle that I uh, cleaned out. So there's the Dawn dish soap solution. <clears throat> We're gonna spray the decal itself too a little bit like that. Okay, and when I took it off, it's not quite the way we want it. So I am going to flip this around just like that. And now, what we are going to attempt to do is just flip this guy right up here like that. And then with that uh, solution, we should be able to move this around to where we want it. <clears throat> we'll get it nice and lined up. <clears throat> it's a little tricky working on in the garage on this, but we're in the middle of winter here, so outside is not very friendly today. <clears throat> and it's a lifted Bronco, two-inch lift. So I am 6'2", so that helps. But uh, if uh, you're a shorter person, you might need a step stool. All right. So I'm just getting this right where I want it. Actually looks pretty good right there all right so now I'm just gonna start working the soap and suds out from one side to the other the soapy water coming out of there. Nice. It's looking very
very good. We got all the air bubbles out. Didn't mention before, but you want to make sure that the uh, area where you're installing it's all nice and clean. So give her a car wash, get her cleaned up. Don't want to have any wax on there because that'll. You don't want it to be freshly waxed at least. That'll keep the adhesive from sticking. I think we're good over there. Let's we'll come back around, see what we got here up front. Got a few little wrinkles there. Come back this way. Get all that out. Uh -huh. of it outside once uh, this all dries and warms up a little bit. But yeah, it turned out really nice. Alright guys, that turned out really good. Um, uh, the wet method is definitely the way to go when you're installing these bigger decals like this. Um, so. Um, definitely let it dry up before you drive it and you know give it a day or two drying before you wash it for sure um, Make sure all that solution underneath gets dried up and the adhesive starts to work um, If you guys haven't already, please uh, subscribe and give it a thumbs up on this video um, If you're interested in uh, this decal um, check out the links in the description below um, we are going to make a few different styles of this um, that will have some cutouts like you'll have the, the Bronco logo um, cut out so you'll see the body color underneath and then I'm also going to do one that has the uh, The horse logo the Bronco horse logo in there might even do a wild track across there I haven't decided yet, but uh, just check our store and uh, we'll have That decal available for you and a bunch of other decals um, for the Bronco if you're interested. So thanks for watching guys. Have a good one